What makes software engineering unique? Well, software engineering is unique because it takes problem solving and teamwork and basically couples it with technology in terms of what computer science uh, people have done in terms of expanding technology, making things faster, better, and so forth, and allows people to deliver software taking that technology and uh, delivering what people need. Well, I think the thing that makes software engineering unique is that it gives you the ability to combine uh, running software programs with learning about the application or the domain where that program is being applied. So what, what's really interesting about software engineering is that you get an opportunity to learn about these different domains. So if you're doing, for example, um, a, a software product or application in the medical industry, well, you have to know how the uh, doctors would use it, you have to know how nurses would use it, how technicians would use it. You need to know some of the underlying uh, concepts of the type of device that you're making. So you need to know the hardware side of it. You need to know how it's going to be applied. You need to know the science side of it. So any application you can think of or any product you can think of that involves software, which is just about everything, you need to know that particular domain. So you get to learn not only about the technology you're using, but the domain where it's being applied. So what makes self-engineering discipline unique is the idea of looking at the practical problems from a management point of view. So what we do in self-engineering and the self-engineering education is that we try to teach students to approach to a practical problem from a high level point of view. We teach them how to look to look at the practical problem, identify what would be the good process to tackle them, and then in this process, what are the steps along the way, and then try and help them to identify the good tools and methods and methodologies to tackle each problem along the way. Peanut butter is to jelly, as software engineering is to what? Software engineering is to teamwork. Uh, teamwork is pretty essential in software engineering. Yes, individual people have their own responsibilities and their own perspectives, but really in order to uh, deliver really big, interesting, complex systems that solve interesting problems, you need to work in a team. Um, okay, so this is a good one. So I think it, along with what I just said about the different types of domains is that you have to be able to interface well with the people that are in that, that domain because they speak a very specific language, very domain specific. So if you're in the medical industry, the insurance industry, the financial industry, you're in the game industry, um, all those particular uh, domains have the need, have their own language, have their own way of, of thinking about their different product. So. What ties in well with software engineering is, is a good communication ability, ability to, to talk to those people, to be able to explain your technology at their level and for them to be able to understand what they're talking to you. So we have what's called, sometimes called as this, um, this dissonance of communication between developers and the people that you're developing for. And the ability or the skill to be able to bridge that gap is, is very important, sometimes more important than um, actually having to write the programs themselves. So defining the problem, being able to understand the language is a very important part of it. So, um, from my understanding, peanut butter and jelly are compromised to each other. So I would say self-engineering and computer science are compromising to each other. So um, self-engineering by name is engineering discipline. So we try to create cost-effective solutions to the practical problems by applying scientific knowledge. So from computer science point of view, we learn the scientific knowledge from operating system to, uh, to algorithms to compilers, networking and everything in the between. So um, those are the foundations or the uh, scientific knowledge that helps us to tackle the practical problem. What we do in software engineering is that we tackle, we, we teach the students to face the real pro, uh, uh, problem and then tackle them using those scientific knowledge. What opportunities exist upon graduation and who hires RIT grads? Well, there are a lot of opportunities that our graduates have. And so there's everything from starting out initially with developing software, more of a programming role. Um, People do work in testing, also quality assurance, um, program management, um, user interface development, user interaction, game development, um, design is really big. 
uh, also finding out people need, which is called requirements analysis. Those are all different types of jobs that our graduates have. And um, even just upon graduation, we have a lot of our alumni who take those types of jobs in all different kinds of companies. The stereotypical one, of course, is like Microsoft or IBM. De defense contracting, so uh, Goodrich is a big employer of our students. Uh, Boeing is a big employer in that regard. A lot of our students go to Microsoft as uh, I think RIT is, has kind of led the way into uh, people being hired by Microsoft. We have people that, software engineering students that are, that are uh, reactive in the gaming, students that work for Electronic Arts, that work for uh, Sony Games, have gone out to the coast and worked there, done very well. We have a lot of students that have started their own businesses. Okay, so they've gone and done startups. We have a couple students out doing uh, startups based on programs or projects that they've worked on. We teach our graduates um all the specializations in from analysis, from requirement analysis to architecture design to testing to management and everything in between. So some um, companies would like to have specialization, so to have specialized uh, specialists in each subdomain. Some companies would require the uh, uh, the, the their employee to work many or all of those sub uh, sub disciplines. So. Um, I would say our uh, graduate can work for both type of um, companies and as a fact um, Salary.com and Money Magazine refers to Software Engineer as the best job in 2006. So um, I would say we have a very good future in front of us. <laughs>